Just got this on my doorstep. This is from my friend Barry. Barry is a fairly well-known guy in the vintage reselling world. His nickname is The Hall King, and he decided to send me this box that feels like it weighs like 70 pounds or something. It's 34, I need to go back to the gym. Free, I didn't ask for it. He just decided to send it to me. Follow him on Instagram. It's Afro Vintage, and follow him on Whatnot. His screen name is Nostalgia Land. This is not a quid pro quo thing. He did not do this on the condition of being shouted out. He did it because he's a nice guy. And he also really knows his stuff. Good dude, reputable dude. So if you like vintage, go check him out. I see an eagle. A Harley Davidson handkerchief. And there's two more of them. This stuff is all gonna be sold on my whatnot auction tomorrow, Friday at five Pacific Standard. There will be a link to that in the description. Foo Fighters t-shirt, graphic t-shirt, tour shirt, Bush with the mash insignia, a little bit of wear here on the Marina tag, Y2K. It's a butt rock band with an email address, a UK email address on the back. I assume that's the band. Oh, wow. Frank Zappa. Renegade Classics Modesto, California biker t-shirt. A Luke Bryan shirt. Dirt Road Diaries Tour 2013. Guild band, so not technically vintage, but still music tea. Another one of these Modesto Renegade Classics shirts. These are really popular on whatnot, just motorcycle merch in general. The Renegade Classics 12th Annual Santa Claus Toy Run 2018. Another one that is contemporary, but uh, should do great on whatnot. <laughs> That's sick. Vintage TGI Fridays graphic t-shirt. 1992, official restaurant of the America's Cup, 1992. I have a feeling that one's a good one. On a trench tag. I really don't know the tags. I am learning as I go. Another TGI Fridays, would you look at that. Bartender Championship. And a bigger size. I bet that one's worth even more. On a Hanes Beefy tee. The Hanes Beefy, I think, is a good vintage tag. Deadwood Dick, I assume this is a bar. Maybe a restaurant. It has a pretty compelling uh, mascot there. It's almost like a knit sweater fabric and there's no tag. That's a, I can't believe you would part with that one, Barry. Another one of these biker t-shirts, Renegade Classics. Oh, that's a good one, the pinup. Another biker tee with the pinup girl, pinup stuff. I know it does well on eBay. I assume it will do well on whatnot too. Another Renegade Classics. This one is not vintage either. That's screen printed right on the shirt, but it is a good size. Super Bowl sweater. I think that's Super Bowl 33 from 1999. Wow. I don't know anything about sports clothing slash sports. Um, but that one looks like it's a good one. Coca-Cola shirt. Don't know what that is. And it's vintage on the Ched by Anvil. I'm not a Chad, I'm a Ched. Oh my god, Barry, I can't believe they would send me this. System of a Down t-shirt. It's probably like Y2K, right? So a Puma jersey top, almost like a referee shirt. Screen printed Laughlin 2012. Timeless tradition, river run, biker, denim, vest, sleeveless denim jacket, vest, on the Biker's Edge tag. I've actually sold Biker's Edge before. Led Zeppelin t-shirt. It's a tour shirt. It's a Hanes heavyweight. Not actually from 1973, but still a nice shirt. See something new with tags. We have a dead stock something. It is a dead stock rock and roll. That's a hall of fame, right? Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum inductees. 
Is it vintage? It's on the all style AAA tag. 2010 now, so it's not vintage, but it is pretty cool. Not gonna try to say that. I always forget how it's pronounced. On the back, on a vintage Lee tag. Hard Rock Cafe from Puerto Vallarta, official, contemporary. Hard Rock Cafe stuff I used to sell all the time on eBay, and then I heard from someone that it's a Vero Risk. Oh man, Black Sabbath. And I don't think it's vintage, but that's still a hell of a shirt. A Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon shirt that I've never actually seen before. I'm used to just the prism. It's on the Rockwell, Rockwell Ant Hill tag. First time I've ever seen that. A Pink Floyd with the Soviet style graphic. Blank back. Wow, another Dark Side of the Moon shirt. This one is dead stock. It is from Hot Topic on a liquid blue tag. I feel like this is a really good one. I've heard this invoked as a good tag for vintage. It's got the stone washing pattern on it. Double stitched, size large, it's got the sticker on it. That's gotta be a really good one. Leonard Skinner shirt on an all style tag. An ACDC for those about to rock shirt. Stuff is unreal. Another Ant Hill. Black Sabbath. It's unbelievable. Uh, Paranoid. Black Sabbath. Gotta get the Sabbath hair going for this one. On the All Style. Another Laughlin, Nevada. Biker t shirt. On a Delta Pro weight. Laughlin, Nevada, 2008. Hat graphic on the back. Laughlin 2009. Barry met a biker, I guess. It's on a Laughlin River Run tag. It's probably like $2,000 worth of shirt. I don't, I don't know. I'm pulling that number out of my ass. I mean, I'm still new to this niche, but uh, damn, this seems really good. Laughlin 2012. I know Sturgis, but I don't know Laughlin. Another Laughlin Nevada biker tee with the skeleton on the back. 2006, lucky as hell. Oh my god. <laughs> Harley Davidson. This is official. Harley branded and, as you can tell, it is dead stock. This is a long sleeve Laughlin Nevada 2012. Another Laughlin 2009 Hood River Run. Another Black Sabbath, also from Hot Topic, also dead stock. Still got the sticker. This is on a Rock Me tag. Laughlin River Run, 2008. We have Billy Badass on the back here. Another biker one, another Laughlin. Short sleeve, denim vest. This is on a Bikers Club tag. Another, I think, retro Led Zeppelin shirt. A Fed Up FedEx parody shirt on a Spoofs tag. Oh, oh man. All right, there's the front, just the ringer. McDonald's birthday, 20th birthday. A sportswear tag, size large. Look at this. I feel like Barry, when he's at home, is like Smog the Dragon and he's just perched on top of a mountain of vintage Harley tees. Born in America, parentheses, a long, long time ago. On an all sports tag. I may be fat, but you're ugly. And I can diet. It's a crew neck. It is for sure vintage on a, I think that's the jerseys tag, right? The old jerseys tag. It's cut off right at the bottom. Enjoy Coca-Cola. That is single stitch. And it's on the Oneida Power Tee. 
Oh my god. Vintage Oakland A's tank top. Crazy looking nature tee. Bright neon colors. Big seashell, big fish. I have a date. It says Cayman Islands down here. There's no date, but it's made in Jamaica. Everyone looks forward to Fridays. Another TGI Fridays. I gotta call, I must call it a heater. Unironically, I must call this the flame, the gas. For some reason, I'm really into the TGI Fridays vintage uh, on the Fruit of the Loom tag. The Sugar Bowl, 1983. Georgia versus Penn State. Heisman, Herschel. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? Wouldn't you know it? Haynes 50-50 vintage tag. Huge Super Bowl 31 Green Bay Packers shirt on a pro player tag. 1981 Cats London with the eyes. A Metal Militia t-shirt. It's got the skull on the back. Lincoln Park Project Revolution. That one has to be a good one. Project Revolution. Oh, it's like a festival or a tour. Look at that. Lincoln Park, Cypress Hill, Edema, DJ Z Trip. An industrial company, Rolls, Rolls Industrial Scaffold, Inc. Rental, and... Oh, okay, I get it, yeah. I thought it was so clever of me to point that out. Haynes BPT. Another one of these. TGI Fridays, Dr. Pepper on the front, Diet Dr. Pepper on the back. Premier Sportswear. Uh, big Jersey, I think that's Matt. Ken Seth, Ken Seth, I'm sorry, I don't know who this is. I'm sure that annoys many of you. It's on a Chase Authentics tag. Rocks, Las Vegas, on a Gildan tag. Credence Clearwater Revival, Cosmos Factory. Is that a, that has to be an album cover. Blank Vintage V-neck on the Bowmark tag. Vintage Tourism t-shirt, it says I Love Hong Kong. It has like glittery ink on it. Like back, it is Hong Kong branded. Property of Converse. It is on a vintage Converse tag. Never seen that one before. Kiss Motley Crew, Crew shirt, 2012, on a Gildan tag. Size XL. That was among the very nicest things anybody has done for me as a reseller. Uh, thank you, Barry. I almost don't know what to say. I mean, that has to be like two grand worth of merch. As a neophyte vintage guy, I can't imagine that it would be all that much less than that. Especially if I were to list each piece individually on eBay to max out the profit on each item. That would definitely pay my rent for the month, I think. Unreal. All of that is gonna be up for grabs tomorrow. There's a link to that in the description of the video. I'm also doing the book auction, finally. I have 210 books that I'm trying to just get rid of. It's vintage science fiction and fantasy, mostly vintage, with a few lit fic and nonfiction titles thrown in there. It is really excellent stuff, and I'm not just being a salesman. I collect the stuff compulsively, and I just don't have room for it, and I had a couple big windfalls. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, it's on Sunday at noon, and you should be able to get some pretty amazing titles for really cheap. As you are watching this, I am back at the gemstone mine for round two. I could not wait to go back. Thank you guys. Please go follow Barry, uh, Afro Vintage on Instagram and Nostalgia Land on whatnot. Go buy something from him. Appreciate it guys.